Hey you guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and did a little bit of contouring and stuff, but um, I have all my foundation on. I actually put on some MAC Prep and Prime on the top lid and on the bottom underneath. So I'm um, suggesting for sure using that because it really makes it last and it makes the color stand out longer. So Today I'm going to be doing a black and purple smoky look. It's snowing and raining outside. It's really sad, so makeup day. Um, first, I'm going to go in with um, Earthly Riches MAC Mineral Eyeshadow. I love this color combination. It's like a brown and a purple. I have way too many brands of these colors, but these go on really, really well. So, I'm going to start with... I'm actually going to start with my base color, and I'm going to take out my, one of my MAC palettes. Not that one. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to be going in first with, um, I'm going in with Gleam, and I'm going to put that all over my actual eyelid, and this is just going to brighten up my eyes. Hopefully you guys can actually see that. Just on my lid. I'm putting it all over my lid, including up inside. It's a little bit sparkly, which is nice. I like sparkles, especially when it's cold outside. I don't know. I just gotta do something to make it a little jazzy and fun. I don't like dreary weather. I need to move. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with, excuse me, with my purple. My purple here, I'm gonna use my 217 brush. Can't believe the letters have worn off already. And what I'm gonna do is start in the corner and do, I have small eyelids, so doing circles is not as easy for me as it is for a lot of these other galleys. Um, if you have small eyelids like me, you might end up doing a lot of correction because um, some of these brushes just don't fit in as well. But you can see I'm starting to make my way. I'm always starting in the corner because I really want it to be darkest in the corner. And then I'm going to bring it up into my crease a little bit. But I'm going to be going over this with um, my darker brown color too. So really what I want is some purple right here in the middle. Or you can see that. Hopefully. So even though it does look like my crease is dark already, it's going to get more dark. So, Okay, now the other eye. looks pretty wicked right now. So I'm going to go in with my teeny tiny tiny. This is the 219 from the same Christmas pack as um, my foundation brush that I used in my last video. The 187. I keep having to look. And I'm going to go in with that same purple and do under um, and line the bottom of my eye. So that it's continuous really gentle. I'm starting at the corner again because really I want that darkness to be there. If it's going to be anywhere. So like that. It's very subtle but you can see it attaches on the sides and that really makes it look good. can see that. Okay. Next. I'm going to do my... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm going to go back in with my purple and try to... I'm going to use my um, my 224 brush. This is a really, really good brush. And I'm going to use it to basically blend in some of the darker color with that purple. So I'm just going to do, do, 
do 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 do. And this is a very, very very soft brush, and it's just gonna really even out the look. So you can see that dark color. Super pretty. I like it a lot. So really follow that brow bone, I think. I'm always looking for ways for what to do about that because everybody's eyes are shaped so differently. And um, I see some really awesome looks online, but without this specific eye shape, it's really harder to make to recreate the look. So I'm working on it, though. Send me some requests so I can start practicing. Please. So there we go, kind of into the crease there. You can see now hopefully how it's coming together so that it's visible, but it's not as harsh as black. It's still that dark brown in the mineralized kit. So I love when you can just buy one kit that covers an entire look. Very nice. I'm just, okay, just went on the insides there. So I'm just going to do some cleanup. Okay, so, you can see it's definitely dark. Next I'm going to go in with my highlight color. I'm going to put my mineralized away. And today for my highlight color, I'm going to use Shroom. <laughs> Big surprise. I know. <laughs> I can't stay away from this stuff, really. I'm going to go back in with this same angled brush because I've only had a light color on it. And use that up. For this. A lot of these brushes you can use in multiple places. I don't think there's any specific rule, though some of them work better than others for different areas, but it really depends on if it's wet or dry or what you're using. So because this is dry, I'm just going for it with kind of an unorthodox brush. You can also use a, you know, a fluffy down brush like the 224 if you don't have a dark color on it. It works for highlighting. I'm going to go back in with my little tiny, tiny one. Put my mineral eyes away too early. I'm going to go in with the darker color now and do my bottom now with this. Right over that purple. Hopefully you can see that's starting to smoke out a little bit. Really want this continuation here. There we go. Ooh. Hopefully you can see. I think I say that a lot. Hopefully you can see. Hopefully you can see. I just want to make sure you guys can see. Alright. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm going to go in with Black Track MAC liner um, using my two, hmm, 266 brush. Up. Mine's starting to dry out a little. I think I'm going to have to get another one. So keep it in a really nice dark place so that it doesn't dry out as much. If you have it. Flicking it up so you can see. Much more dramatic. Uh, right at the bottom, just one swipe, and the next eye. You can see that it's, uh. a, it's a good, I don't know, I think it's a good Check it out now. Uh. No 
down now. 